What's up YouTube? Today I want to talk about LFO tables, a brand new feature in Faceplant 2.0 that allows for some really interesting sound design techniques. So the idea of LFO tables seems to confuse a quite a few people when trying to understand like what essentially it is. But for those who may have a bit of a modular background, it might be a little bit easier to kind of understand because for those coming from a modular background, you may have already used a wavetable as a modulation source. Essentially what an LFO table is, is just that. It's using a wavetable as a modulation source. This, however, presents some really interesting new techniques that I feel weren't really possible previously with sound design, or at least they required quite a bit of thinking out the box to achieve. So like I said, there's so many things that make this such a great feature. I'm gonna try just outline a couple of those in this video and then let your mind wonder, and then you can use it for all sorts of weird and wonderful things. So essentially what an LFO table is, like I said, is an LFO that can morph its shape over time. So this is particularly interesting for example, like Serum has the ability to warp the nodes in your LFOs to be able to change the envelope of a sound over time. And now thanks to LFO tables, you can actually do exactly that within phase plant, if not taking it a step further and allowing for all sorts of crazy modulation, which may ha have not been possible with just modulating X and Y positions. So the first context I wanna show you guys is the context of an envelope. So using a LFO table and morphing this shape, for example, like this, to get a differing decay envelope on a sound. So the easiest way to show you guys this would be, for example, to put in a saw wave, put in a filter. Then what I wanna do is I wanna get this LFO table to modulate the cutoff of the filter. So if I hold a note, So this default preset that's on the LFO table made by Data Broth, if you guys don't know Data Broth, you should definitely go check out his channel. There's some really amazing videos. A lot of the stuff that I learned in Vital actually comes from his channel. Um, this is a really handy default preset because it allows you to warp this shape into so many different envelope types with just a single sweep. So this allows you to take a sound and really change the envelope of the sound over time, not only in terms of the speed of the envelope, but the shape of the envelope and the curves and all sorts of things. But we can still go in there and we can draw each of these things, like each of these frames, we can go in and edit. So we can draw in our own, uh, create our own modulation shapes and all sorts of things. That being said is there's a ton built in here already of some really good stuff. Um, not only Data Broth, but the Killer Hearts team has supplied a bunch of really good um, LFO shapes to kind of get you started with all sorts of weird and wonderful sound designy things. But anyway, the idea of getting this to work in the context of an envelope is we want this to be off. So it's going to trigger once when the note is played and then stop at the end. Okay, what I wanna do is I actually just wanna write a quick melody over here in the MIDI. So now we could potentially use one macro to sweep the decay open like that. Actually, we want the beginning frame to be, yeah, like that. So we can sweep open as well as sweep the sound, uh, as well as sweep the time of that LFO table so that it goes slower and opens up the decay all in one sweep. Thank you. 
want to show you guys one more thing. In the factory pack in Faceplant 2.0, there should be a preset called Wavetable to Melody made by your boy. What this allows you to do is basically like a quantized sequence. It's got an LFO that uh, basically moves this position backwards and forwards. You can actually change this to change the linearity of the sequence like I explained in a previous video. But the interesting thing about this is it allows you to morph between various different melodies. So essentially how I designed this to work is we go in here and let's say for example create a new and we draw in random shapes here. Doesn't have to be exact because it will quantize it thanks to the remaps. And we go done. Let's just see how this sounds. Like I said, it doesn't matter what shapes you draw in, it'll always kind of quantize it to fit into a melody because of the way that I've kind of designed the patch. Um, so here, let's just draw in random structures, uh, again, in the middle of this wavetable, and then one at the end here. So the idea is we're going to then set up a crossfade between all the different wavetables, and then we're gonna morph between these t uh, three melodies. So let's set up this crossfade, and then done. Okay, so now we should have this, which morphs between those melodies that we've created. So like in this context, we can think of it as the ability to create up to 127 different states at which we want our LFO to exist, like the different shapes. And then we use the frames to step between those shapes. So essentially, I mean, it could be that, for example, we have 128 different step patterns and the frame chooses between them and there's no kind of like crossfading or you can slowly morph between these different melodies and that kind of thing. So it's this idea is pretty expandable. You can use it for not only melodies but for modulations for all sorts of crazy things. Awesome. That is about all that we have time for for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any further questions on the Kilohertz 2.0 stuff, let me know in the comments and I'll try answer those in a future video. If you guys want to support what I do here, then check out the links in the description. I've got a Patreon and I've got a store where you could buy presets for Vital Serum, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, yeah, those are probably the most direct way to support me. Otherwise, just subscribing to my channel, liking this video or sharing it with your friends. Every little bit helps. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Cheers.